handling grunts, I was taking down the ones giving the orders. Ever hear of Grullux? No. Really? Who is this Grullux? Why does this matter? <laughs> it don't matter much to me, but there's about a million civilians who owe their lives to this sneaky lady. No one owes me anything. Killing him was too much fun. to taking out Shatari, Drax has a couple of big notches on his belt, too. I heard he took out Warbringer. Drax, think you can drag this cannon out? I will try. It is more stubborn than expected. Impossible. It will not stay in place. You couldn't just... Drax, can you try again? Why? It does not stay. I'm working it out. Trust me. Uh, I cannot hold it forever! Got a couple that did it! Impressive, Peter Quill. Now we gotta get the next one out. Mora, think you can squeeze into that tiny space? I have white shoulders. If only we had somebody soft and tiny on the team. Too bad we don't. Rocket, I need you to squeeze inside that little hole and try to knock the gun loose from the inside. Hello, Shatari ship full of booby traps and death mechanisms. But you love both those things. Uh, you're right, I do. And I always wanted to see the inside of one of these bug bombers. Fine. Oh, what reeks in here? That's... Oh, Scott. Ah, ah. You okay in there, Rocket? I found the crew. I guess not even the worms want to eat dead Shatari meat. Rocket. Relax. Just gonna reroute the little bit of remaining power to the cannon and... Nothing. You know what, Larkin? I'm blowing it up. What? Hang on. Think about all the booby traps and... Rocket, you okay? <laughs> yeah, and dry now, too. There, now we have our way up. <laughs> Gamora, can you clear us a path through that junk? Yes, Peter Quill! Onward to the palace of the great giantess! Oh man, another murder tentacle. Careful. Whoa! That is not a happy monster. Well, at least it left. Back to its brood mother. Come on, why is the bridge always on the wrong side? I could throw. Touch me again and I paint these cliffs green. Okay, okay. No throwing and no shooting. There's got to be another way across. We'll just look around. Lady Hellbender. Let me guess. She would have laid over the ravine and let us walk across on her back. I was going to explain that she would have thrown the woodland creature without hesitation. But your speculation is also conceivable. In many ways, this planet reminds me of my home world. If we can't get across it, maybe we can go around it. Looking for cracks, caves, or crevices, people. I feel like I've heard you say that before, but in a
Do we know anything about Lady Hellbender's demeanor? It is said that Anyone she... but Drax? I just heard that she's fair but terrifying. Make of that what you will. It suggests we have some room to haggle. Unless she decides to kill us. Some exploring. Have you done enough of that already? I'm pretty sure exploring is code. It means you went the wrong way, but it's too stubborn to admit it. In that case, Will's the greatest explorer I ever met. Take your word for it, bud. Take his word for what? He says the soil here is like supercharged with plants. Getting a little bit of a buzz just walking on it. my house from here what are you doing up there scout type stuff scouting looks like we uh need to keep going towards the fortress and not away from it excellent work peter i wonder if there's a common monster hunter uniform like are they organized or maybe even just a style would adorn themselves with the fangs and teeth of their prey. Yeah, I'm not pulling that off. Although I do like skulls. Their garments would be full of holes, shredded by the beasts that they hunt. Quill has that one covered already. I've got something here. It's deep. This looks promising. There is little room to maneuver if something should attack. We're not gonna be here long. Anybody see a way through? We'll make one if we have to. Oh. Anybody else smell that? It really stinks back here. Yes, it smells putrid. Ugh. Where is it coming from? Oh, what the fuck? Not talking. <gasps> not even breathing. Rocket, do we have a frostbite kit on the Milano? Worried about Quill misfiring his new toy? It will not be the first time. I think the smell's coming from that wall here. There's gotta be something behind it. Yep, definitely something gross behind here. Drax, can you chuck that through the stink wall? I fear I will be this. That pissed. Disturbingly fragrant. Uh, uh, I am clenching every orifice right now. Okay, that's kind of weird. Hello? Anybody? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, oh. Okay, that got my uh, blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Uh, because it's annoying as scud. Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. Peter! Why 
Even it tastes like that. I can use this. You know, we really got to work food. on your taste. Buzz. The cage. You get it? We need the cage. Taste we go into buzz. that fortress with our, with our monster peacefully walking beside us. We'll be laughed right out of the room. Any bites? Why are you whispering? The more thinks we can sell our monster act better if we have a proper cage. Only problem is, there's a pissed off monster inside. Release the beast, let me dispose of it, because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety is needed. And now all these monsters. I hate this flarking planet! You hate everything, Rocket. True. But especially the stinky slime tunnel part. Itchy fur is where I draw the line. We do smell exceptionally foul. Hey, we're a team. If we're gonna smell like butt, we're gonna smell like butt together. That is most eloquent, Peter Quill. I will smell like butt with you. Yeah, really great speech. Did you cut it, Gamora? I can't even get there. Groot, time to shine. Wow, at least be polite about it. So, what do we do if all don't go well with Lady H? We're gonna fight a monster queen? She would be a formidable adversary indeed. Lady Hellbender isn't her adversary. If all goes well, she's gonna be our business partner. It's gonna go fine, right, Groot? Groot says we should check things out over here. Groot, give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. So who's next in line for the throne if Lady Hellbender has an accident? Pretty sure.
Oh, it's this way, but I don't see an easy way to get up there. Easy is rarely worth it. Yeah. <laughs> Deep freeze. Whoa! Can I try ice cubing something? Nope. Man, you're such a gas flat. So if we're gonna haggle with the monster queen, how much are we asking for our monster? What do you mean, don't get greedy? We're running a business here. We need to make a profit this time. Hey, well, better not forget what we talked about earlier. It's nothing. Don't worry, Rocket. That thing heavy? Well, surprisingly light. If we put our monster in it, will he shrink as well? Uh, no. It would compress anything inside to a mound of twitching more. Whoa, that is definitely in my top ten fortresses. What the flark? You said that quarantine zone monster was supposed to be rare. She already has a whole herd of them? So we wasted our time. Almost got killed for nothing. And got arrested. That was fun. It was moderately amusing. Now we've got a ticking time bomb on the ship. Ugh. We just can't catch a break. There's always some stupid blah monster or angry space cops or a random ship explosion kicking us in the teeth. And the weather always sucks. It does. I'm wet. Let's just get this done. Okay. It's farther than it looked. Much farther. It's a fork in Infinity Bridge, is what it is. Ah, uh, you're being dramatic, Rodent. Bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not infinite. Yeah, that's super comforting. Guess we gotta go. Three cycles. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Are you Oh! Right! Cage. The point of even getting the Flarkin thing is looking like we mean business. Group, you ready to squeeze in? I am. Peter Quill, there's still time to reconsider. The tree creature is not very monstrous. Drax, we're doing this just like we planned on the Milano. You're being stubborn. Clearly the rodents are the one I am not that being stubborn. I just refuse to change my mind. Because it's the right decision. Hey, lovebirds, let's go. Bridge ain't gonna cross itself. I hope Lady Hellbender is as gullible as you expect she is. You hang tight there, bud. When the time comes, I'll get you out of there. Rocket style if I got it. Drax. Gamora, can you help me with this? No. What? Why? To guarantee your safety as a leader. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, don't look at me. I ain't pulling that thing. Remember, buddy? Menacing! Like me, only uh, bigger. I am rude. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, here we go. Whoa! <laughs> okay, whoa, whoa! A little bit close. Easy, big guy. Don't know what you heard, but we just want to bring you back a new friend. I know it can't understand me. But maybe it responds good to soothing tones. <sighs> Does anybody have like a campfire song or something we can sing to kill the time? Ooh, ooh, I know one. It's called. Please stop. All right, yeah. Okay. Wait, is please stop the name of your song? No. Okay. So, how long before someone else wants to pull this thing? 
We are 60 clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. Well, there is only one way to know for sure. 0 0.1 clicks. 0 0.2 clicks. 0 0.9. 2.1. 0 0.3 clicks. 4.5. 0 0.4 clicks. 0 0.5 clicks. 0 0.6 clicks. clicks. For the love of Mark, stop counting clicks. We could enumerate all the ways in each other. Why are you leaving? Where are they coming from? Thirteen more years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec, I promise. Right. Need to build up my calluses. I knew this day would come. How much she said, son, you'll always be on the road. Your daddy was a man, a man people want. You're warm enough to spend the night in the yard soon. I love falling asleep looking at the stars, wondering what might be out there. Mom says Grandpa used to play this a lot when she was a kid, but it's been busted ever since I can remember. I guess you can get a brain parasite if you share a toothbrush. Imagine that. Something growing inside of you. It's slowly taking over. Time to go from zero to hero. A man on the run. He's a ghost. He is no one. The thunder when it comes will bring with it many guns. Gypsy woman said, she said, boy, your time grows near. You can't run forever. Gotta Well, 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 look who decided to finally come up. Where's my cake? I warned you. <laughs> no, you didn't. I am so full. Mom. Oh. <gasps> okay, sit your butt down, Slowpoke. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing. I like your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. Look at all those girlfriends. Someone's gonna be really popular at school. Mom. What? You are very handsome. I'm sure all the girls are gonna be falling off. Mom. On. What did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh. What huge favor are you about to ask me? Just ten bucks. Dan, Andy, and I want to go see Night of the Cosmos at the Rio tonight. A movie? Tonight? Come on. It's gonna be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one, and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. You watched The Exorcist when you were younger than me. Of course you would remember that. And then I ask you if you packed your lunch and you give me a blank stare. No, I just, I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. 
We can still do all that stuff. Or some of it. Tomorrow. You're always telling me to get out of the house more. A movie theater does not count as out of the house, and you know it. Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you I, I was... I know! You were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. I couldn't just stand there. No. Of course not. Okay, get me my purse. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. 20 bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. I should make you clean your room before you leave. Please don't. One day, I'll have to get down there and just throw everything out. Sometimes Grandma and Grandpa would let me sleep with them if I was too afraid down in the basement. Jealous, my plan's better. You're green with envy. Better than black and blue. Try it, lady. I got 12,000 volts with your name on it. Could really use a voice of reason here, Peter. Uh, Quill's asleep at the helm, which means I'm in charge, and we're doing my plan. The plan with the insect. It's not an actual bug, it's a tracker. So we can keep tabs on Groot after we sell him. Fine, but you're responsible for sneaking the four of us no back in tonight. God, Not a problem. Uh, are they serious? Guess we're going to find out. Name? Guardians of the Galaxy. Never heard of you. Well, you do live on a mud ball in the middle of nowhere. What's that? What he means is you will have. We're huge in the Kree system. What's in the box? A rare creature, last of his kind, and all-around swell guy. Looks like a bush. It is a tree. A talking tree. That's new. All right, get going before I change my mind. And if the lady don't like it, I'll be carting out what's left of you in that box. Thanks, officer. Have a nice day. Officer? Whatever. Not exactly an easy way out if this all goes to hell. It's gonna go great. We got a killer monster and a solid plan. The tree is no killer. We should be selling the angry rodent. Lady Hellbender will be displeased. What? I'm supposed to be scared just because she's got hell in her name? She runs a glorified zoo. That's no zoo. It's a flarkin' army. Any chance they're the zookeepers with guns? I have never seen Arthur's team. I have seen him trample them at the pulp. It's fine. Worst comes to worst, we hightail it for the Milano. Unless she's got a fleet of Shi'ar dropships. Yeah, <laughs> like she's got a bunch of ships to take her old monster mash on tour. I stand corrected. Those ain't 
Oh, come on. Why did we not simply dock here and avoid the planet's inhospitable surface? Great question. Next time, I'm flying. Indeed. We needed time to iron out the plan. Now it's foolproof. Lady Hellbender is no fool. When her monster goes missing, she'll assume it was us. Assume, yes, but not no. Not chases across the galaxy level of no, at least. Are you flarkin' kidding me? Look at this place! It'll take forever to find fruit after we sell them. Peter Quill expects you to use your insect device. Bug! Relax, Rocket. We've got your tracker thing, right? Uh, don't exactly draw us a map, Quill. It's more like a, a hot warm sort of thing. You mean hot cold, right? What? A Galeran skull. That is truly a priceless trophy. Behold! A woman with expensive tastes. That's good news for our deal. Come on, we're a team. We stick together. All for one and one for all. That's surprisingly insightful. Did you just make that up? Uh, yep, just now. Totally off the top of my head. You, you will remain still. No erratic movements. They have captured a Tara Tara. Uh, you, you doubt its authenticity? If it is what you say it is, prove it. Or suffer the consequence of every other would be con artist. I assure you, I say, Milady. release it. We got this. Bring in the next seller, and transfer 10,000 units to that last one's next of it. Speak. Hey there, I'm Star-Lord. Okay. Drax the Destroyer. <laughs> the undoing of the Mad Titan in the flesh. And... Such flesh. Your presence honors me. You are much smaller than I expected. Oh? <laughs> and what were you expecting? Perhaps I can do something about it. But uh, unlikely. We'll see, Destroyer. I can be quite forceful. Peter Quill. I believe she is flirting with me. Just play along, man. Flatter her or something. You got this. This for the best. 
Your negotiation skills are terrible. Lady Hellbender, I can see by the size of your weapon that you must be a skillful warrior. Hmm. Perhaps I can give you a demonstration sometime. You would make an acceptable opponent. Tell me, Destroyer, what brings you to Sagnarf 9? Peter Quill, show her the creature. Your kind had been wiped out. Name your terms, Destroyer. Twenty thousand units. Twenty thousand? The creature is not monstrous like the creepy little beast. But it is a capable warrior and it possesses regenerative qualities. Also, it is the last of its species. Twenty thousand units is sufficient compensation. No. No? What do you mean, no? <sighs> I mean... No. Well, then you're an idiot, lady. Rocket Drax has this. Name your terms, then. Fifteen thousand. And you stay. Whoa, you want to buy Drax? Not buy. Invest. I could use a warrior like you at my side. I have other commitments. Shame. <laughs> we could have had such fun together. Twelve thousand for the Flora Colossus, then. Twelve thousand is not Not that either. bad for a Flora... whatever deal. Twelve thousand units it is. Storms of Seknoff grow ravenous. You will stay among my Hellraisers and revel as one of us. Yeah, this is great. We'd be. Thank you. flirting with a Signarfian beast handler. Who confirmed that Groot is definitely probably being kept in the new additions pen. Which is where exactly? Well, we didn't quite get that far. Good thing we're doing my plan. Tracker's pointing back to Lady Skull Suit's throne room, so uh, that's where I'm going. Tiny little problem. Boy, when these guys go, they go hard. Heavily inebriated. Doesn't mean they're not a threat. My best blade work happens after I've had a few. If a few scut knuckles gotta die to save Groot, so be it. Whoa, whoa, hey! We are not here to start a war with the woman who's got her own private army. No, just rob her. If we do things right and be quiet, we'll be in and out with no one the wiser. Drax, what part of quiet don't you understand? Dead is quiet, Peter Quill. No killing! Don't touch anything, don't step on anything, and don't break anything. And don't do anything stupid. If we mess this up, it's game over for crew. And us. Gotta hand it to the lady. She knows how to throw a party. It was like this with the Ravagers, too. 
Yondu was a real work hard, play hard sort. Thanos doing either usually ended up with murder. We comparing Scotty father figures? Because mine gave me a shock collar for my birthday.